Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. I'd like to acknowledge the Warramai First Nations people on whose traditional lands these videos are made and welcome to you, your guides, my guides and the Universal Energies. Absolutely fabulous to have you here today. A little bit of a gloomy day outside so I do apologise if the light's a little bit near. How's your father? Uh, we will persevere through so thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, and Warramai, W-O-R-I-M-I if anyone's wanting to have a look up. Now just very quickly, no idea uh, how things are going to go this week. I have swollen up like I'm nine months pregnant so I've contacted the specialist and waiting to hear back. So We'll play it by ear. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, very uncomfortable. Okay. Now, um, first of all, I'm going to have a quick look at the Ohio GOP state government. So someone asked me to have a, a look to see whether they're going to be uh, going to cheat in the 2024 election. Yes, they are. It's a silly question. Actually, no silly questions. It's just a what of course they are. However, what's happened uh, since I noted that down uh, over there is my little notebook in case you wonder why I glance that way. Uh, what has happened since that uh, question was asked, uh, you have had the election in regards to the issue, uh, issue one, which was basically giving all control for all decisions to uh, the authorities as if uh, the people of uh, Ohio are capable of making up their minds on their own decisions, uh, was resoundingly voted out, uh, good resoundingly, 60% uh, to 40%. Why there was still 40% that voted for it, I have no idea, but there was this huge margin, uh, which is considering in this day and age pretty much of a landslide. So what's happening is the Ohio GOP have come out and said, oh, obviously people didn't understand the question. They were confused. Uh, we didn't have the time to get out the information, despite the fact that they set the timeline, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, so it may be that this issue comes up again in a different format uh, with a more confusing question is what I got when I was reading that as in a, uh, uh, a an ability to dupe the voter type question. So entertainment only, I'm just going to have a look at um, what have we got. So the issue giving the government uh, authority to make decisions instead of allowing the voter to do so. Um, just have a look. I just want to have a look at the GOP in Ohio. I'm getting a real feeling they're going to get their backsides walloped um, if they do bring this to vote again. Boy, I hope it's even more resounding. But okay, I'm just going to have a look at the Ohio GOP going forward, the Ohio GOP going forward, is there anything we need to know? How are the Ohio GOP going to go in the in the upcoming 2024 elections? Now, apparently around the uh, uh, university in Ohio, it was actually a resounding 98% voted to tell the government to where to put it. Um, okay, tell me. Okay, thank you. Right, what I've just been told is that the geo are they going to cheat again? Well, Dan, yes, because what they are trying to do is to be able to raise the voting age to prevent, for example, the 98% round the university voted resoundingly against this change that they bought that they had brought forward because they're wanting I'm getting the key reason why they brought this issue forward is that the the GOP legislators are wanting to raise the voting age I'm seeing the number 25 I know it's been touted in a few other states I'm seeing the number 25 that they're wanting to raise the voting age to prevent the um, these uni students, the youth, from voting. Okay. Show me. Okay. Show me the energies behind the GOP at the moment. What is it that's the energies behind the GOP at the moment? In Ohio. Uh, using my golden universal tarot for those that follow. 
the energies behind the GOP in Ohio. That one? Okay. Let's have a quick look. Right. First card out, Queen of Swords. I think if they do try it, they're going to be, it's going to be taken to the courts. But she is the internal, internal awakening of truth and justice, prosecution, females coming forward, females having their eyes open to the truth here, challenged by the youth coming out completely unexpected. So the challenge to, uh, the challenge to, I'm getting here that this is, this is interesting. Um, okay. <laughs> the guys are just loading my brain up and I can't make head or tail of what they're trying to tell me in regards to this card. I do see that it'll go to, I think I'm pretty sure they're going to actually raise this issue again. Um, are they going to go to the High Court in regards to this? Because this is very much about bringing a, a legal case forward and, and the result is going to be completely unexpected. I was asking from the GOP state point of view. So, okay. I'm wondering whether they're going to go to the... Have you got a Supreme Court in the States or something like the High Court? because they were completely bamboozled by the fact that they didn't get this issue across the line. Foundation of this reading, the Queen of Cups, there is something that they're going to bring forward that they still have not yet revealed in the past. For the GOP in Ohio, chained themselves to this greed energy, this toxicity, doing what's best for them but not for the people of Ohio. I think they were actually, um, I thought they, okay, thank you. What I'm getting is that they think they had it, had this election issue, this vote, this issue one in the bag and they were completely um, bamboozled by the fact that it didn't pass and it's the youth so they've got something else up their sleeve here that they're going to bring forward. Okay. New start, new emotional overwhelming, new partnerships, a new era, a new era of peace. I love it that we've got cups all the way through, which are about emotions here. We've got the youth and the female. Yeah see where this go. I did ask the GOP state, you know, government in Ohio, they're going to find themselves um, burdened by the inf the messaging that they're putting out there. If you can hear some, um, some noises, that's one of my dogs licking herself at the moment. Bindi, thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're going to find themselves and they, uh, they're just going to find it too too cumbersome, too burdensome. They, they, they're desperately trying to, to reach this destination, but I think they're just going to trip over themselves is what I'm getting there. Okay, externally for them, justice is coming. It's not that they're bringing justice. Justice is coming for them. Balance, their actions having consequences is what this is. Internally for them, uh, the truth is mo is moving on internally for them. They, they, they're trying to blame outside factors for this failing, but I think there's going to be a realisation of truth here. But also I'm drawn to the fact of the hooded figure in regards to this, this truth. This truth is being revealed and going to move on. Yeah, they're going to have to defend themselves, the GOP in Ohio. There is strength. There is strength in this new emotional beginning and coming of peace. Could be Trump. Who have we got here? This is the businessman, the, the, the wealthy mentor. Who have we got here? Let's see where this goes on a new beginning. Okay. 
There is strength that is on in what is going to come out about those that connected themselves with this devil energy. And we again have a new plan, a new beginning, a new start. On the base, we have the circles of support for this negative messaging is going to be fully illuminated and forced to retreat in the face of loss and disappointment and the youth coming forward with the message of truth. I think that pretty well sums it up. They're going to try it, but then they're, they're just, they're not going to succeed is what I'm getting um, in that. They're just going to find this, whatever this, this, this message that they have, This message that they have committed themselves to and that they're going to keep, I, I'm getting that they're actually going to try again to push it through, but they're going to word the question differently and it's going to be a bamboozled, convoluted, hard to decipher messaging, if that makes sense, uh, uh, question. So really, really, really be on your toes for when it comes through because they are wanting to raise the voting aids and that's what's behind behind this change this change that they're trying to bring through um and it's going to be a, a really bamboozle I, I that word bamboozle it's not a word i'd usually use but it's going to be a really confusing wording so when the wording comes out that it, it it's going to be that it's going to appear that you're voting against the change, but the wording is going to try and entice you to vote for the change, if that makes sense. So when it comes out, please, 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 please share the message everywhere. Um, I'm not going to – I'll have a – no, I'm not going to have a read um, for when it comes out. I just get that they're going to try. And when they do reintroduce it, I'll have a reading then. So keep an eye on it. Thank you, for uh, thank you for voting. Yeah, <laughs> thank you for voting. Thank you for joining me. Love to you all. Take care.